Was Herman and Eve secretly ballin'? Now it's important to note that wealth does exist in the wizarding world as we see with Ballin, Daddy Lucius, and the peasants, the Weasleys. But how does it work exactly for muggle-born witches and wizards? Now we know that her parents were dentists and that would be around $50,000 a year in the UK, but she also was near the metropolitan area, which takes it to $80,000 a year per parent. And that was in the 90s. And we know she lived near London because of the address on her Hogwarts envelope. It's also important to note that's in pounds, so it'd be like $250,000 in American money. I know, sorry, American pounds. Let's we'll talk about the metric system next. And Hermione was also an only child, which means they only had to feed one mouth other than theirs. That was such a weird way to say that. Versus the Weasleys, who just like to get it on with nothing on, am I right? I'm sorry. We also knew they took a fair amount of trips at least once to France and once on a ski trip. The Grangers, not the Weasleys. <laughs> it's also important to know when they're talking about money, you know, Harry holds his tongue because he's got that small fortune from Slick Yeezys. And obviously it was a touchy subject with Ron. Hermione held her tongue too, meaning that she was well off as well. And they don't have a secret Gringotts statue because they had exchanged their muggle money for magical money at Gringotts, which we saw in the book. 